Congressman Joe Kennedy on the campaign trail in Roxbury, accusing the Markey camp of encouraging online threats. Kennedy's campaign manager firing off an email to the Markey camp, writing, the tone and tenor of the Markey for Senate campaign and people associated with it have reached dangerous levels. I have never seen a Democratic senator turn a blind eye for months on end to the type of vitriol and targeting that we are getting. Congressman Kennedy says none of this is new. The senator, rather than dealing with it, is trying to attack me for it. I don't even I don't even know what to say about that. Senator Markey at a campaign stop outside St. Anthony's Church in Revere. He called the threats unacceptable. This kind of harmful language should not be a part of any campaign. I have condemned any vile language and I will continue to do so. And yet the Kennedy campaign is still claiming that Markey won't condemn it when he has, recycling Hillary Clinton's 2016 Bernie bro narrative. But because Kennedy is a white man from a political dynasty who can't exploit victimhood directly, he's instead claiming that Markey's supporters are being mean to his female and POC supporters with pretty much zero evidence. It's desperate and it's pathetic. This is a man from the most powerful and famous political dynasty in American history claiming that he's the victim because a random guy from Idaho with 20 followers or a random lady from Florida with 32 followers might have said he was a jerk on Twitter. I understand, okay, maybe there have been some death threats, I guess, but politicians get that all the time. Making a campaign issue out of it is just a, a ridiculously lazy attempt to recycle the Bernie bro narrative used by Hillary Clinton in 2016. But because Kennedy's as privileged as it gets and is a white man and can't cynically co-opt victimhood and can't actually exploit the real incidents, in, instances of racism and sexism in politics and throughout the country. I mean, it's it's everywhere because he can't use that, that real experience to his advantage. He's pretending like Markey supporters are going after POC or, or female supporters of his. It's just, it, it's really, it, it's really gross. Cynically using racism and sexism to deflect from the fact that you don't have policies and you don't have a real reason to actually be primarying Ed Markey is as gross as it gets. And it's cynical in another element too. He's trying to bank on the fact that normie Massachusetts Democratic voters who don't look into this that seriously are just going to see sexism, racism associ associated with Markey's campaign. And because those accusations are felt so deeply and Democratic voters take that so seriously that they'll just stay away and they won't support Markey based on this essentially smear campaign where they're associating the words of sexism and racism with Markey's campaign, even though Kennedy, he's not applicable in those accusations. So it's really just one of the grossest things I've seen in a while. It's weak and you can tell that Kennedy is scared based on what all of this is rooted in, which is the fact that Markey has a ton of online grassroots support. In the midst of a pitched primary battle against an opponent barely half his age, septuagenarian Senator Ed Markey has become an unlikely star to a generation of young activists organizing on the internet. A rowdy bunch of more than 50 Twitter accounts have sprung up in recent months to bolster Markey74, who often sports basketball shoes older than some of his newest supporters. Markey has long sought to win over young voters, and his campaign touts his focus on issues that have appealed to different generations of young progressives over decades. In the 1970s, Markey focused on nuclear proliferation. In the 1990s, he wrote many of the t telecommunications laws that promoted internet accessibility and expanded broadband capacity. He is a longtime supporter of net neutrality and an original co-sponsor of the Green New Deal. Markey's appeals to young voters stand out from the other campaigns whose outreach can come across as forced. The line between cool and cringe is fine. Hillary Clinton caused eye rolls when she encouraged young voters to Pokemon go to the polls, and Democrats attempt to offer boy buy phone wallpaper in advance of the 2018 midterms was met with ridicule. It's also just not that hard to figure out. If your policies appeal to young people, 
young people will support you. I know that's crazy. And then when young people support you, the online meme culture you're trying to tap into isn't as forced because young people are the ones in that culture. Kennedy is so jealous. He's so jealous of Markey's youth movement and the fact that there are young progressives and there's young energy online, which is where this all stems from, in favor of Markey. September 1st, I don't think it could be any clearer who to vote for here. This really is a, an important race because are we going to allow centrist opportunists like Joe Kennedy the third to co-opt the progressive movement and the youth movement, which is tied together, but just because he's younger, but he's further right, cynically use that in order to primary one of the best senators we have, or are we not going to allow it? That's what Massachusetts is going to have to decide in the, the coming days.